Right here, I just have this bucket list of things I want to do. I try to put down one or two things a day. After I finish this list or get to a point where I feel like I'm good enough, I wanna, I'm gonna start drawing my manga. First, I'm gonna start off with finding my art style. Right here, I have this sheet of what I kind of want my art style to be like. So we have like the Indian style being Chainsaw Man, the anatomy being Jujutsu Kaisen and um, Chainsaw Man and all that. So I kind of want like how Jujutsu Kaisen um, has these sharp lines and stuff. Because like I really like that. I kind of want it to be more like Jujutsu Kaisen Zero where it's not like fully straight lines. There's some roundness to it. So let's go find somebody to draw. I kind of want to draw Yuji. Which one of these do I want to draw? This one, nah. I think we'll just do this one. Drag this in. Okay. Also, we need some Jujutsu Kaisen Zero stuff. Uh, we'll take this one. Okay, you see how it has like some roundness to it, like right here? Like not too round, but still a little round. That's kind of how I want it to be. Okay, so let's start off. So, start drawing Yuji. His face is kind of tilted. And starting to draw his jaw. Okay, that looks good. I think we're gonna draw him with his eyes open. So I want to draw eyes, kind of like um, Tatsu Tatsuki um, Fujimoto, and how he does like two, just like two lines, and lines on top of those to like indicate the folds or whatever they're called, and then just like a dot in the pupil. Okay, Let's do that on the other side too. Again, trying to trying to keep like some of that sharpness from Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, his eyes are not the same height. Draw those lines on top. Okay, they're not lined up properly. Okay. Now, the nose will be like Tatsuki Fujimoto again, like those two, just like curved lines, and that for, to like indicate some of the nose. Okay, then we want him smiling. Doesn't look that happy so far. Okay, that, that gave it a little bit. Draw the bottom lip. Okay, he doesn't look as happy as I would want him to be. So we'll move the mouse mouth up a little bit. Okay, so what I think we'll do is raise this part of the mouth up. Okay. Then we need to give him some teeth. Okay, his gums are like right here, so we need to indicate that. Okay, how's that looking so far? Okay, it looks pretty good. Okay. Ah, oh, his jaw is messed up over here. Is that better? No. I think his eyes are, are a little too um big. That's a problem I have. I usually make my eye the eyes too big. That's something I want to get better at. Also, the eyes need to be like an eye away. So... Put that right there. So this eye needs to be like right there. And then we need to scoot this eye a little bit. To the right. Okay, that looks so much better. Okay. And then we'll move the nose over here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna draw eyebrows how I like to draw them. So I just draw like this sideways curved triangle. Really easy. So we need to make the eyebrows kind of pointing up. That's how they did it. Also, another thing they did is they connected the nose to the eyebrows like that. Okay. Now for the ears. I'm going to draw these how I like to draw them again. I like to make my ears kind of sharp. Like this. That's just how I like, like to draw them. So the ears are probably the sharpest things that I draw. Okay, and then for the inside of the ear, I just draw like this line and then a triangle. And then like all these lines. How's that looking? Pretty good. Now for the neck. We're just draw a neck. Okay, now for the hair. We're gonna draw the hairline. You need to raise it a little bit. And then Yuji just has like really spiky hair, so it should be pretty easy to draw. Also, Yuji has like these, I don't know what they're called. So I, he just has like his sides um, shaved. So I have an idea for the manga that I want to draw, and I really want to get drawing it right now. But um, I know um, that it won't turn out how I want it to if I stay at the skill level and draw it. So that's why I started uh, started on this like training arc or whatever you want to call it. So usually that says like really spiky hair, which is a lifesaver because I hate drawing hair. Hair's probably my least favorite thing to draw. Is that good? I think we need to bring the hair up a little bit. Like that. Yeah, I think that did it. And then just draw some hair inside. Giving those like shaved sides. And that's looking pretty good. And then we'll just draw his like hoodie. Okay, just draw like his hoodie. Or is it a hoodie? No, it's not a hoodie. It says uniform. Okay, how's that looking so far? It's looking pretty good. Let's flip it. Okay. I think the hair on this side needs to be raised a little bit. Also, the strand needs to be fixed right here. Now, let's get the inking it. Okay, where's the G-pen at? Okay, so we'll just... I want to... It's too big. Also too big. 17 will do maybe yeah 17 also another thing i want to do is draw like 50 50 guys and 50 50 girls because i usually just draw guys and i'm really bad at drawing girls also another thing i want to do is i love how um like jujitsu kaisen and um chainsaw man have like those quick lines that kind of make it look rushed I just love, like, that type of art style. This really sticks out to me. So I want to try to use that in my art style. See how, uh, like, I like how Jujutsu Kai Kaisen does, like, these chins right here. Yeah, so just do, like, this quick, kind of keep, like, that Jujutsu Kaisen zero roundness to it, too. Okay, draw the bottom eye. Also, um, Chainsaw Man does like these little droplet things. I don't know what they're called, but it like indicates that like that droplet looking thing at the, to the side of your eye. Really like that too. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far. I start on my hair, so then I can see where the eyebrows need to go. Okay, let's finish off the hair. I know like Chainsaw Man does like these things in the hair 
like this and I kind of I really like that too so we'll just do that to Yuji and then draw the hair in the middle yeah, it's looking good so far then let's get like his shaved sides Okay. Okay, now we can get to the eyebrows. I think here I need to make the mouth bigger. Because it kind of looks too small. I'll do that after I draw the mouth. Okay, let me look at this. Okay, like that. Get that in. Bottom lip. Okay, I think we need to scale it up. Because it looks a little too small. Oh, I forgot to do the things on the side of his face. Are these Su Sukuna's eyes? Like holes or people or eyes? Or is that like below these? Oh, that looks bad. I think his, his neck is a little too long. So, I think we'll just bring the hoodie up a little bit, maybe. Okay, how's that looking? It's looking pretty good. Turn off the sketch. Yeah, I really like that. So, I kind of want to color, like, um, like how, um, Tats Tatsuki Fujimoto colors. Here, let me find it. Nah, here we go. Like, I watched a video on him drawing, and I liked it. So, let's select this. I think it needs to be a little bit more paler. I think what I had before was good. Ugh! I think I drew on the wrong layer. Is that good? Nah. There we go, I think that's it. That's okay, Fujimoto uses his, like, G-Pen of color, like the base layers. And then he just uses a marker to do shadows. I start erasing, like, where the eyes are. Okay, we need to get, like, a brown color. For, um, these, like, skin holes or whatever. Is that good? Nah, they're a little bit darker. Probably about there. Yeah, that's it. Like a dark brown, I'm pretty sure. Okay, like that. And then he has like these dark parts. The top. What's that looking? It's looking pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now Yuji has like this pinkish hair. That right? No. It's a little bit more at that area. A little bit lighter? No. I think it needs to be brighter. Now his eyebrows are um brown. Get this orange color. Make a brown. It's like a dark brown, so about there. Coloring his um shaves. Hey, that's looking pretty pretty good. Now for his hoodie or is that a, what is that on it? Is it just part of his uniform? Okay, so that's like a red. Is that type of red? Okay, now time for the shadows. Alright, let's create a new layer. Call it shadows. Okay, let's make it a clip to a layer below. Okay, okay. Okay, let's find my shading brush. 
what kind of color? I think it's like a orange color. Is that good? Okay, to start off with the shadows. Around like this nose area. Under the eyebrow. And then under like these eye, what are these called? Like eye folds or whatever. Definitely want some shadows in the ear. Give it more like 3D-ness or whatever. Okay, how's that looking? It's looking pretty good. See what a few shadows can do? Or like shading can do? Some on that bottom lip. Okay, and then we want to add like some shadows like where the teeth are. Because like, like um, how do I explain this? Because your teeth are inside your mouth, so the lids are going to have shadows, or the lips are going to have shadows on the teeth. Okay. And of course, we need some shadows below the chin. Or, yeah, on the neck, on the chin. And we'll want some shadows down here from the um, hoodie. Okay, some shadows just like around the mouth. Also, importantly, shadow, shadows from the hair onto the skin. We need some shadows down here. The hoodie, again, for some 3D-ness. Put shadows below these folds. It makes it look really nice. Okay, now we need to do shadows on the hair. Not too much. You don't really need that much shadow on the hair unless it's like you need a lot of shadow on the hair. That makes sense. Oh wait, hold up. What we can do hair. Where's my G pen? We can actually add like some highlights how they like have it there. So just like some highlights on the hair. Then what else we can do is just add highlights onto the um, skin right here. Not a lot, just like a little. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's Yuji done. And like, kind of how I want my art style to be. Again, it's like the Jujutsu Kaisen style, just like a little bit more rounder. I think what I wanted want to do is make it, make it like the face a little rounder like I did a little too sharp going too much off the reference but it looks pretty good next I want to draw like a full body drawing of something so let's go to our best friend Pinterest we could do Maki that's her name right Maki yeah we'll do this let's draw it I'm gonna draw it in the manga style because I need help with that style too not just coloring Let's like try to get the body first so I can see how much how big I need the head to be. Women bodies go like it's like an hourglass sh shape. So like that, if that makes sense. Okay, I think I need to size it up a little bit. Okay, again I need to make it bigger. That's too big. How's that looking? Okay, now let's move on to the head. Hey, make it is that and we need to make it a little bit smaller. Fit like that area. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, so she's kinda actually looking down. So we need to make like the jaw shorter, like that, kind of make like the eye line curve a little bit downward. Okay, let's do the legs real quick. 
need to make her thigh bigger. Okay, then let's do the hands. Or uh, arms. Okay, so we have to draw hands. Yay. So... So they're going to be closed off like that. And then have the thumb out like that. And then close and then like that. Okay. Okay, just a quick little idea of how I want the hands to be. Like that. Okay, lower the opacity. Okay, so... Females usually have rounder faces. So I'm going to try to do that. Like they just have rounder features. So make the ears still round. Or still a little sharp but rounder. Like that. Her One of her eyes is closed. So we'll start off with that one. Give them eyelashes. not really feeling that right now, but I'll fix it in a little second. Draw the eyelashes. The thing I like, the thing I like about how Tatsuki Fujimoto draws female eyes is he has like these little eyelash parts right there. So here, we're going to see a little bit more of the nose. So she's kind of looking down. So, like that. Is that looking pretty good? I think I need to raise her ears up a little bit. Is that a blood or a scar? I'm going to say a scar. That's why her eyes closed, maybe? I haven't read the manga. I've only watched the anime. So I've never seen Maki. Like, after she got burnt. Also, tell me if you guys kind of like these draw-along videos. Because I want to do, like... A lot more of these. Makio also kind of has some spiky hair, which is nice. But does it look like Maki? I think we need to add the burns that she has. Okay. Okay. Finish off her top. And then make that a, a little bit more straighter. I think this one needs to be bigger. That looks good. Okay, now let's get on to her arm. I think I made her arm a little too big right here. I think I made her body a little too big. Big. Does that look any better? I think something's wrong with her. Hair or face. Yeah, you know, it looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. Well, trust me, I'm not good at drawing hands. That is a whole nother video for another day. I think that looks. Pretty good. Okay, let's start over here. Okay, I want to show you guys this really neat trick. It's really useful for drawing hands that are in the same 
position or whatever. So you, you select a hand. Uh, you go over to this um, copy and paste button. Click it. And then you just move it over to this hand. And then nobody will know. The neatest trick there is. Okay, the next thing we need to do for Maki is draw her burn. So she got burnt. Like, bad. Oh my gosh, I like how this is going. I really like it. Usually I hate half my drawing, but I really like how it's going today. And that looks good. Does she not have burns on her hands? Okay, I think that's it. Hold on, let's flip it. Any problems? Yep. Right here on this old leg. Does that fix it? Does that fix it? Yep, sure, let's go with it. And then she ha and then I need to like do the shadows on the um pants or whatever. Or clothes all together. Okay, we got the shadows on the clothes for the toning. And then for the hair she just has like a light on it, so make like a light area. Yep, okay. So we can delete this, lower the opacity on this, and then we need my GPN, and then we can get to drawing. I think this is a little too big. Let's lower it to. No, oh, let's just size. Size it up. Do a little of that. Okay. And that's good. Okay. Again, trying to keep that the rounder face shapes for the female. Okay, hair's turning out pretty good. Okay, the hair's finished. I think it's okay for now. I think it may be a little too big. Let's just take this, move it down. I think this area is a little too pushed out. See, that looks better. Yeah, she looks mad. Let's draw it. I think that's a scar. I have no idea. Okay. And now we're just going to do the shadow part of this. Or, yeah. Like, where the light hits her head. Pretty sure. Yeah, she has green hair. Okay, just get, like, this kind of messy how it is. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's get her... I forgot her eyebrows. Start off on the clothes. Making this look really good. Okay, how's it looking so far? Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, do like these belt sections or whatever. Okay, so I need to do the burns on her arms. 
okay. It's looking really good. I really like it so far. Okay, now for the legs. Okay, that's it. Now we just need to do the part that I'm most scared for. Because I am not good at um really toning at all. Pretty good. I think I need to make it like right there. Just like yeah. Okay, how's it looking? I think this leg right here is just a uh, teeny tiny too big. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, and then we'll just cut off our feet right there. Or our legs right there. Oh my god, why is it looking so good? Why is it actually looking this good? I did not expect to make it look this good. I'm really proud of this. Okay, now time to do the toning make this a 70. Okay, so I'm just using the selection brush to select the parts that I need for the um, toning part. Okay, just select like this. Because on this leg, it's like a little, like a little, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just like messy, I guess. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, to tone it, we'll get... Is that it? Is that the correct toning? I think we lower the, um... Frequency to maybe 65? Uh, I think a little bit lower. Maybe the density too. Density 50 and this 40. Yeah, that looks good. It looks so good. Really like this. Probably one of the best drawings I've done in a while. Okay, that's really, really, really good. I really like it. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be doing is some gesture drawing. I found this, um, sheet of, like, poses that I wanted to do. So, I think I'm going to start off with the one in the, um, top right. So, this one. I'm going to be doing these timed. So, I'm going to time myself to see how long I do it for. Okay, so the first one. Let's draw the line of action. chest. Also, another thing I need to learn is how to draw um, shoes, because I cannot draw shoes at all. Okay, for the arms, I'm, I, I like, I, I just like to do these, like, stick things. Because it's just, like, easier for me. Okay, so that's the first gesture down. I think we're gonna do these gesture drawings and add, like, um, it's like better um sketches to them, I guess. Make them actually turn into something. Not like not like um really good. Okay. I think a thing I need to do is scoot the shoulder in. So like that. And let's get the body. I need to make it rounder here. I think I need to make this leg um smaller. Okay, let's move on to the hands that bicep in. Okay, that's the first one done. So it took me six minutes. 
Okay, the next one we'll do is this one. So, the line of action. It's pretty straight. Draw the body. It's at a side, so it's going to be um skinnier. Okay, the leg. Arm. It's like a closed fist. Something's going to be on that side. Okay. So, mess that um, quick sketch down. Now, let's bring a sketch over it. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that one took like four minutes. I think we'll do one more, and I think it's going to be this one. So, let's get the line of action. Let's curve. Let's get the torso and the pelvis. Start drawing the leg. Actually, let's draw the face real quick. Or the head. Okay, let's draw the leg. Knee's gonna be, kneecap's gonna be there. Let's draw the other leg. Okay, that's that. Sketch done. Lower the opacity. Oh, also, I think this one took like five minutes. Ah, hold up. Actually, like six minutes. Okay. Oh, judgment hands they're really they're for, I, I think I'm gonna go with the old thing I had let's draw some, some noodles right here because I don't want to draw the hands okay Move on to the body. That's okay. Okay, let's finish off the head over here. Okay, I think that's that pose done. I think that took me like so. This took me five minutes. So these are all the poses I did. So that's it for the gesture drawing. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you guys would want to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications, that would help me out a lot. And peace.